Rick and Air 650, back here with Crazy Cat Airsoft. Today we're bringing you footage at the new Bing Field. Now this op uh, here took a few months ago, so I'm really late on posting this uh, footage. You can see their new field looks much bigger. It has more of an urban look and less of a wooded area. And here we are making our long walk towards the spawn point. Now I'm joined here with my uh, friend Derek, who I met over at Battle Creek, and he's uh, from my area too. So we both kind of linked up here, and we decided to go out here and play. Here we are running off. Definitely had a good turnout here today. Here I am using my trusty Masada. I am running an 11.1 uh, volt lipo. Kind of on the higher uh, discharge rate, I think it's around 30 amps, I'll need to double check that. Today was really challenging because of the wind. You can see all that wild grass there blowing in the wind, it was really affecting our shots. I am using a primary arms uh, red dot side on here with a UTG three times uh, magnifier. And I'm really liking the uh, snappiness of the 11.1 .1 volt lipo. Some of them are pulling back. We're really having a lot of trouble here. The wind was really affecting Watch our shots, like I said. So I was trying to keep uh, ammo conservation while still trying to like. keep people down, but the wind was just affecting my shots way yeah. too much. So Derek yeah, and I decided to, or more if he suggested yeah, that we go we'll over go to way. the far flank side of the field, trying to make our way there to kind of sneak our way over to the flank, to try to outflank these guys. So here we are meeting up with a few other players here who had the same idea. And the weather outside of the wind was really nice. Not too hot, not too cold. Just the wind was really affecting our shots and really reducing our effective range. Doing a tactical reload here, so that way when I got to the flank, I would have a full topped off magazine. Alright, let me know when it's good. And here I am taking kind of the point. I didn't know, but we already had a few other teammates over there which really kind of helped secure this area. And I just laid low here. Hey, right I know exactly where they are. All right. Teammate claimed to know exactly where they are, as you always know. That is not always 100% true. All right, he's out. I'm just laying prone here, kind of waiting to make sure that I get close enough to them with the win. Slowly making my way up here. I have to watch out for any potential threats coming in front of me and also from my left side here in the village. If you'd like more to know about my PTS Masada, I'll include the link down below. Just kind of going for an overview over it. I sprayed a kind of a big heavy burst there just to try to see if I can hit anybody, but the wind even prevented me from getting anyone else out from there as it just spread the uh, BBs out way too far. At the same time, that also means it makes it harder for them to hit me as well. I'm just laying here, seeing if I can see anybody. The 
tall grass does make it kind of hard to see anyone. And with the wind, it also creates a lot of ambient noise, which means it makes it harder for you to hear other people move through the grass. I continue to make my way through the brush here. There is a bit of an opening in front of me, so I want to be very careful. In that opening, there could be someone out to my left, and at the same time, there's a good chance that there could also be some threats right on the other side of that clearing. You can hear my friend Derek behind me and he's laying down some cover fire. I don't really think he can see anybody, but just kind of throwing that fire there to help keep their heads down, put some pressure on them. slowly but carefully make my way up. We haven't heard or seen anybody, so I'm going to take a risk and try to move up ahead. Being very mindful that there could be somebody to the left towards that opening, as that opening leads down to a path down to the village, almost like a T intersection. Now this isn't the most exciting gameplay, but holding this flank ensures that the enemy won't push up on us and outflank us. At the same time, it gives us the opportunity to outflank them. So we saw someone, th the enemies throw some smoke there. So one, smoke doesn't work out really that great when it's windy like this. As you can see, it's blowing the smoke away pretty well out towards directly towards me and out to my left but this also confirms that we th we know there is someone directly in front of us now i'm just going to let that smoke clear out here keeping a special watchful eye to see if anyone tries to move up under the smoke's cover of course the smoke's not providing a lot of cover for anybody And after a while, we just kind of waited here. We're a bit of a, at a standstill. Heard someone call hit. I'm just trying to stay really low here. Oh, we can see someone walking off the field there. Big part is I'm trying to stay low here in case they try to rush um, any of our uh, forces here that I could possibly catch them off guard. All right, now just crawling on your belly here is the best thing you can do with this high grass as being hidden is gonna be your best defense in this case. I'm pointing out to Derek that there's, I saw some movement over there. And with the, him being there, I'm going to move up a little bit more here. Try to peek around to my left while my while Derek and uh, other teammate there watch, uh, give me cover in front of me. So I'm going to kind of just crawl over here. And I'm not really seeing anybody, which is good. Later on, I'm hoping to get a uh, camera that will link up to a heartbeat sensor of mine and hopefully kind of show you my heartbeat. 
kind of see that, you know, even though it's pretty quiet and nothing's happening here, your heart's usually racing quite a bit here because you just never know when the action's going to break out. Or if it ever will. I'm mainly watching this left side over here in case anyone from the town starts to make a rush up here. Additionally, out to the right, I'm keeping during that trail. I'm trying to make sure no one's going to run up and try to outflank me. Now I'm hearing my teammates fire out in that direction, so I'm going to watch that direction a little bit too. If they saw somebody, I want to make sure that they're not going to try to outflank them and possibly outflank me. We had that teammate there. He, just as I suspected, there was somebody right in front there, and they just did a trade-off there. And you can't see the other person just because of that brush, but I was able to hear them uh, both walk off. Checking the town over there, make sure no one's gonna, no one's moving up there. And I'm gonna actually move over to the other side here. My teammate behind me is gonna watch me uh, out to my left. I believe Derek already had to walk off the field here. But my teammate's watching my left flank over there while I try to move up in advance. I'm paying particular attention of the brush in front of me because we had one person there hiding and I didn't even know he was there. And he was probably only about 10 feet away from me. Okay, nice. Yeah. And that was the game. Beef. Not the most exciting game here, but you did get a good kind of look here at uh, Bingfield at their new location near Alton. Not too far away from the airport, but we do have some more footage coming up here uh, that I'm hopefully going to get posted here within the week, and it should be a lot more exciting. This was definitely the slower game of, of the uh, day.